Legend has it that if a seal can become a human, she will slowly shed her skin and become a beautiful woman. If you get her skin, you can make her do anything. This poor fisherman in order to find his girlfriend, he sneaked to the place where the seal was molting. He succeeded in stealing a seal's skin. He gained the ability to control the young girl. The young girl was wrapped in sackcloth. She obediently followed him back to the island. The people around him all looked at him with envy. Soon the maiden was pregnant with the fisherman's child. She asked the fisherman to use the wood from the boat to make a cradle for the child to be born. The cradle must be decorated with shells and seaweed. When the child is born, she put the child in the cradle and let him float on the sea. Let the sound of the waves be the child's lullaby. Many years went by. They had many children. But the woman would always look in the direction she had come from. She misses the freedom she had as a seal. On this day the eldest daughter pulled her mother close and said, My father has hidden a leather jacket on the roof. The mother was thrilled to hear this. She immediately left the children and left in a hurry. When the fisherman returned from his fishing trip, he saw a seal following him all the way. There was sadness in his eyes. When he left he hid his sadness. The fisherman felt that something was wrong. He rushed to speed up his boat. By the time he reached home in the dark his wife was long gone. The fisherman instantly lost all his strength and fell to his knees on the beach. From then on fishermen were forbidden to hunt seals. And that special cradle has been passed down for a long time. Years later, the villagers of the island decided to move to the city to make a living. But just as they were about to leave, a flock of seabirds attacked them for no apparent reason. Some seals took advantage of the opportunity to take away the cradle with the baby boy. And the father found out it was too late, even though he chased him to the sea. But the cradle seems to have the magic to float further and further away. Then the sky suddenly darkened and stormy. The cradle was gradually swallowed by the storm. Jack also disappeared into the sea. Soon after Jack's family left the island with the villagers. After they went to live in the city. Jack's father has been busy with work. There was no time to take care of Jack's sister Jenny. So they sent her to the place where her grandparents live. This is a small island with a beautiful environment. The isolated island across the street is the place where Jenny lived. Roan Island. At night Jenny found a light on Ron's island. She guessed that maybe her brother Jack was there. So the next day, Jenny came to the island with her grandfather. The place had been uninhabited for a long time and had become very dilapidated. Jenny casually walked around the old house. She accidentally found a fire that hadn't been completely extinguished and a table with shells on it. Obviously someone had been here. She immediately started searching the island. Soon she found a little boy without clothes in a grassy area. So she began to call out to the boy. But Jack heard the shout and ran desperately. Jenny chased after him. But Jack disappeared after running over the hill. Jenny was worried about her brother. By the time she reached the beach, Jack had already taken the boat and drifted far away. When he returned by boat, Jenny told her grandfather about seeing Jack. But grandpa didn't believe it at all. He thought that Jenny was wrong and told Heidi to go home. Don't mention Jack in front of grandma because when she thought of poor Jack, grandma would be very sad. Two days later grandpa and his cousin went out fishing. Jenny begged grandpa to take her to Roan Island to find her brother. But grandpa politely refused. Jenny reluctantly turned away. Just as Jenny was looking at the sea she was lost, a seal appeared in front of her. In order to get closer to the seal, Jenny went to the boat. Unexpectedly the rope tied to the boat broke. Jenny dragged the boat and was pushed to the island by the seals. She called out to her brother and ran to the house. Then she climbed up the window and looked inside, and found Jack inside. Do well to watch it if you finds it interesting. Highly recommended. Don't forget to subscribe. For more videos like this, on Recap Next.